Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working through one of the many MCAT practice questions found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Dalton, a 100th percentile MCAT tutor, and today I'll be walking through this problem with you as though you're one of my private tutoring students. Today's question comes from the end of lesson mastery quiz in lesson five of the biology two module. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem on your own before watching my explanation. Perfect. To ace this question, we really need to understand what exactly it is that secretin does in our body. There are lots of important hormones in the digestive system that all perform distinct functions, and we talk about them in significant detail in our Biology 2 module. For now, though, let's just focus on secretin, since that's what we need to know to tackle this problem. Essentially, what happens is when food comes in through the stomach, it eventually ends up in the duodenum, which is this first section of the small intestine right here. When the food comes from the stomach into the duodenum, it brings a lot of stomach juices with it, a lot of acid. And so the duodenum is going to release secretin, which travels to the pancreas, an organ that sits about right here. Secretin triggers the pancreas to release pancreatic juices, which is really helpful and important because these juices contain lots of digestive enzymes to help break down the food. And they also contain sodium bicarbonate, which is a base. And that base is going to help neutralize the acids from the stomach and increase the pH in the duodenum. Great. Now with that knowledge, let's come back and look at our question and see what we can figure out. The question essentially talks about the secretin receptor and explains that when the secretin receptor is activated, it affects levels of CAMP within the cells. Scientists discovered a line of cells with CAMP levels that constantly matched those of cells activated by secretin. Now, this is a great example on an MCAT question of having to read between the lines to figure out what it's asking. The question doesn't come right out and tell us, hey, these cells act as though they'd been activated by secretin. But by reading between the lines and recognizing that secretin affects camp levels and these cells have similar camp levels to activated cells, we can recognize that it's asking us about cells that are acting as though they've been activated by secretin. The question is, what do we expect to see as a result of this? Well, what does secretin do? Let's go ahead and look at our answer options. The first answer option, increased secretion of pancreatic juice. That's actually going to be the correct answer because it makes perfect sense with what we've been talking about. Secretin triggers the pancreas to release pancreatic juices. In case you haven't caught on just yet, secretin sounds almost exactly like secretion. That will help you remember this and keep this answer straight. Let's look at our other answer options real quick though and see why they would be wrong. Increased mucus production. Increased mucus production. Mucus is something that's produced by goblet cells in the stomach. I think that's what this is referring to. And so it's not going to be correct, unfortunately. Next, increased satiety. Satiety is that feeling of being full, of not being hungry. That's actually produced by a different signal or a different hormone called leptin. And so that's also going to be incorrect. Finally, our last answer option, decrease in duodenal pH. Now that's tempting, but we have to remember that the pancreatic juices have a base in them. So a base is going to increase the pH in the duodenum. It's not going to decrease it. And so this answer option is also incorrect. Let's go ahead and check our answer. Perfect. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. For more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. If you'd really like to maximize your MCAT score, be sure to check out our elite tutoring services and request a free consultation with any of our available tutors. We'd love to talk with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. We look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you next time. Bye.